things need water. Water plays an important role in our day-to-day -day life. Let's study about it in detail. Sources of water Sources of water that are found naturally in nature, like waterfall, lake, river, pond, stream, etc. are called natural sources of water. Sources that are made by man, like reservoir, tube well, well, etc. are called man-made sources of water. States of water Water is the only substance on earth that naturally occurs in three different forms. As ice in the solid state, as water in the liquid state, and as steam or water vapour in the gaseous state. Let us do an activity to understand it in a better way. Take a few ice cubes in a plate and keep it on a table. After half an hour, observe. The ice cubes have melted and turned into water, that is, liquid. With the help of an adult, pour the water in a small saucepan and heat it. After a few minutes, water will start boiling and you shall find steam rising up. This is water vapour, which is in a gaseous state. Now remove the saucepan from the fire, cover it with a lid. After a few minutes, lift the lid. Carefully look at the underside of the lid. You will find droplets of water. Water vapour comes in contact with the cool surface of the lid and condenses back into water. Cool the water in the saucepan for some time. Then pour it in an ice tray. Keep it inside the freezer of a refrigerator. Remove the ice tray from the freezer after three hours. You will find that the water has frozen back into ice that is in solid state. So, what did we observe? Ice melts on heating and turns into water. Water, when heated, forms water vapour. Water vapour condenses on cooling to turn back into water. When this water freezes on further cooling, it turns into ice. Thus, we now know that water changes its form due to change in temperature. Evaporation let us do an activity. Keep water in a glass. Note the level. Do not cover it. After three days, note the level of water. You will find that the water level has gone down. Water has slowly evaporated into the air. How do wet clothes become dry? Moisture present in them slowly evaporates and wet clothes become dry. We get water from the rivers and lakes. The rivers and lakes get water from the rain. The rain comes from the clouds. 
Clouds are formed when water vapour in the air is cooled and condenses. This is a part of the water cycle. Let us look at the water cycle. Water cycle. Water in the oceans, seas, rivers and lakes gets heated by the sun and evaporates forming water vapour. This water vapour rises up. When this water vapour comes in contact with the cool air or a mountain, it condenses to form tiny drops of water. The tiny drops join together to form clouds. As more drops join together, they become heavy and come down in the form of rain or snow. The rainwater flows down into the rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. Water from rivers, lakes, seas and oceans evaporates again. It is a continuous process. This is called the water cycle.